Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Realm of the Bad God with Shatov. And sorry, uh, there was no giveaway last episode. Level up my guy. So, yeah. I'm still rolling assassins. And uh, this is Atomic Man. He's rolling with me for a minute. I think he's got a level one. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so. Oh yeah, if you guys wanted to know, I'm playing Biting of Isaac right now. Alright, I'm going to head this way, inland. And see if there's anything better to kill. So yeah, I took a break. I ate dinner and stuff, and uh, now I'm just gonna continue leveling up this character. Hopefully, get a good roll, and then I will show you guys how to use uh, the roll calculator that I uploaded in last uh, or that I provided the link for in last video and talked about and uh, and uh, so yeah I think Atomic Man is raging about me being 10 levels faster than him but uh no, I guess the speed's pretty high for a uh, level 10. 29. So yeah, uh, we're just leveling up. Atomic Man looks like he's gonna die out here. Slap Happy looks like he wants to die out here. <laughs> he's probably got a bad roll. Bad rolls are the worst. I don't know. I don't think Slap Happy wants to die. Maybe he's just confused. Yep. Uh, Desert's really good XP, actually. By the way. These, uh... These things are pretty cool. Hey, I haven't done a pirate den on this. In this yet, so I'm gonna do it real quick. Yep. Sounds like fun. What is this? I'm scared. Alright, Atomic Man. <laughs> don't don't kill uh the animals, dude. He better not be killing the animals. Any reason why? Did that? you? You didn't just boss kill, right? Ah, okay. Thanks, Atomic Man. So we'll head back inland. And uh. Yeah, so now I'll keep trying to get level up. So I just missed out on some XP. Dude, the boss, the pirate boss gives you like 60 XP, literally. Yeah, and everything in the pirate den gives you uh, like one. So the only point to go in is to kill the boss real quick and leave. So, uh... So yeah, so now I'm just... Going, getting level ups, trying to.
So yeah, so right now I'm just trying to get uh, some level ups. Oh wow, that's interesting. So we're doing Oryx this episode. How fun. Alright, and Death Scythe is in here, who is, by the way, uh, pro. And, uh, yeah, I am not a pro. Death Scythe is a pro. But, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, so for any of you who missed, uh, the last episode, I did not, um, like, my wizard didn't die or anything. I'm just trying to make another character and show you guys a little bit about like the leveling up, rolling, and maxing process. The last video I gave a bunch of tips on uh, how to safely max a character, or uh, I guess you could say that. And <coughs> yep. So, so um, I think Atomic Man's probably gonna die, depending on where he is. No, he's still alive. He's level seven. Wow. All right. So yeah, we're not doing too bad. Uh, level fourteen, Orcs Castle is really good for XP. So. I don't think anyone here knows that we're recording except Atomic Man, so the guy shouting Leroy Jenkins is just being a goof, because he's goofy. And so, yeah. Oh, whoa, there's Atomic Man. Ha! <laughs> he's turned into a gravestone. Oh, shit. Aw. Well, he was a... At least he was only, uh, like... Rolling or whatever. He was his guy was level seven, I think. Whoa. Alright, so Yeah, so far. Yeah, we're doing an Oryx castle. That's cool. And we're doing it like a lot of people end up in Oryx. Uh, unprepared as a level 16 who was just merely trying to get to level 20 real quick. Instead, he's uh, going to the face of the boss. And, yeah, or something. Going to the face is not so, yeah, yeah, we're going to fight Oryx. What a great, what a great time to do it with a this assassin. Let's see if he's worthy. He's got enough HP pots to make it, hopefully. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, so typically if you're leveling or rolling and you end up going to Oryx, you might want to just Nexus. But, uh, or you, you could do it, it doesn't matter, I guess. But you don't want to really waste time when you're rolling. So this time I'm only really doing it because uh, I'm on recording and somebody has requested I think to go to Oryx so we'll go check out Oryx but I, I really need to do one with my wizard so I can actually do some damage I think we're uh, not gonna make it unless death sky is gonna step it up here I mean, these, Very this rare. group is like, uh, not moving forward. That's uh, what I mean. 
Well, that can happen. We're at a standstill. Kind of like a Sege battle or siege or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. With the so. Wasp, or with those insect minion spawning guy. The hell is going on? All these people are just like waiting. I don't know why. I'm just rolling here, you guys. No, there's like some pros in here who are like. It looks like trying to kill people or something. Which is not cool when I'm like just rolling a character. They might not be. That could have killed me. So yeah, you don't want to get hit by that sword. That sword kills people. That priest is dead. Alright, so now we're going to Oryx. So, in Oryx, I do use screen rotation and off center usually. So I got in a good bomb there. And uh, that's what assassins best best useful for on bosses. But really, I'm still under under leveled, so I'm not doing much this time. Dude, I spent 15 coins on a beggar. I got two hearts and two bonds. And then I ate that pill. I ate the pill. So yeah, in the new Oryx, uh, he does random stuff. And what I mean by that is, yeah, I guess he has random phase phases. Whoa! I, I don't like the be silent phase at all pretty brutal. I haven't gotten used to it yet. I used to dance do dance too basically in old orcs. I don't know what the new like terminology is for all of his chaotic messes and stuff that he does now. But I was totally unprepared so now he's gonna do the charge I think. Whoa, that rogue died. Alright, so... Another be silent, it looks like. So let me try to head down here where everybody else is. <clears throat> Alright, he's charging. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a ninja. Oh uh, wow. So as you just saw, ninjas are quite powerful. Wow. I haven't really gotten hit hard by a ninja before. But that was hit hard. I mean, yeah. If I realized I was that low, I probably would have nexus. This is a really short-handed oryx. I don't even know. Is Oryx dead? Oh, he is. <laughs> Anyways, so... Now let's get back to what we were doing. Doing Abyss level 5 with a level 10 hunt. Doomed.
Uh, so, yeah, we're almost level 20. And, uh, that was an Oryx. What? What? That's crazy. Anyways. Plus 25. Uh. Plus 25 life. 25 life. Plus is pretty good. Alright, anyway, so... Yep, um... I totally almost lost this guy just now. Which... Would have been the first episode you guys... Wow, that, that would have been bad. You guys would have seen me die. Well, you saw me die last episode, but it was suicide, so that hardly counts. Ah, uh, this is looking... This is looking like a bad, uh... Bad roll, you guys. So, that means I'll be doing it again. But don't worry, I won't make another video of me leveling up. I just wanted to, uh... I may make more videos of me, uh, once I get a good roll. Of me maxing my next character. Um... Just to help provide some tips and stuff and to actually go through and do it uh, kind of like with you guys as a tutorial or something so so yeah so sorry again uh, the last two episodes have no no freebies I guess but thank you guys for watching and I hope you have gained some useful information out of this so uh, yeah we're almost level 19 and at that point we could check our roll and so here's a pirate's cave I'm gonna run through it real quick just to make up for the last one that I didn't get to do yeah I guess so alright so now it's level 19 running through but still I mean I've got almost I, I'm I'm I'll get all the dungeons in at least an episode and though pirates cave is dumb sure it counts I guess it took two seconds yeah I guess why not so now we're we're just still getting level ups this looks good. Desert mobs are great for level ups, by the way. So, yeah. I think I already said that. But. You said deserts are good for XP. So, yeah, you basically. Said. It's worth repeating. Definitely. I agree. And, yeah, I think Atomic Man made a good point in chat earlier. That, uh. that if you have three character slots it's even better when you're rolling because then then you can keep like a high roll uh, and keep rolling the other spot so you don't have to lose that one I'll, I'll show you guys maybe also. Don't you only even have two? I have three slots oh when you get the other one I don't remember it was a while yeah. back. Uh, seven, I think. I had four. I don't remember how many I have. It's like seven or eight. I don't know, dude. Huh. But I work, so I, I can buy stuff sometimes if I want to. So should I re-roll my rogue or not? Probably not. 
I'd probably keep it. How much positive is it? Plus 25, dude. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'd keep it. Ten-time bomb is the worst fighting at room of enemies. So, uh, yeah. So now I'm... Level 20. And... Gonna go to Nexus. Gonna hop in my vault. And, uh... I gotta write down my <clears throat> stats real quick. So HP is 590. MP is 190. Uh, 31. 0. 43. <clears throat> 42. 42. 41. So now you gotta make sure that you didn't take any of your stats with your stuff equipped so I took 42 for dex and 0 for def alright so I'm gonna close out a realm and uh, open up the excel file and show you guys how to punch it in to check the roll and I'm pretty sure this is a bad roll though but anyways uh, thanks for watching you guys yeah <clears throat> sorry So, uh, here we basically have the Excel sheet, and at the bottom you have all of the uh, classes. So you want to pick on the class that you're using. Right now I, I'm rolling Assassin, so uh, here it says Assassin, so I'm on Assassin class. Here we have all the stats. Uh, then we have their weight. So basically this is how much they're worth in DEEF. Now, uh, all the calculations done in here, or yeah, somewhere in here. And basically, you plug in your stats in this column. So, here I had 590. I had 190. Uh, 31. 0, 43, 42, 42, 41. Uh, so basically it gives you this number. What that number is is how many deep pots it's going to cost you to max that character to 8-8. Eight, eight. And all of these weight values uh, you could change if you think that uh, you can buy life pots at 6.5. You can change it to 6.5. I like to keep it at 7 to be uh, conservative. And now uh, this average at 20 is shown right here. Uh, so that that number is the average number that it would be in DEEF equivalent. So basically... This is a really bad roll. I'm under average by 40 deef. So, I'll show you my wizard real quick. So when I was rolling my wizard, uh, I plugged in stuff here. Oh, this isn't my roll, but this is just to check how many deef left I needed to max. And uh, so these are all the rolls. And... Out of all the rolls, I chose uh, 268.7 to max, where average is 292. So it was uh, better than average by like 30 or something. But you can see I did a good amount of rolls to try to find uh, the best wizard. And so you guys can use this. Uh, if you have any questions on how to use it, please send me a message or post a comment. I'll be happy to help in any way I can. And, uh, yeah, so this just helps with rolling. At the end, it also shows you the summary of average rolls and how much def it, it costs to make uh, that character an 8-8. Eight, eight. So you can see uh, Wizard is the most expensive class to max, uh, whereas Rogue is the least expensive class to max. 
and uh, you can see the rest of the things. Oh, sorry, Trickster's cheaper than Rogue, but uh, Rogue is second, so. Or no, Assassin's cheap too, so. Yeah, Assassin's cheap, Rogue's cheap. Most everything that's in the 250s is cheap. And, uh. Yeah, so. That's that's this, uh. This little Excel sheet I made a while back, and it, it helped me, uh, roll my wizard, so hopefully it can help somebody else roll. And again, I, I talked about it a little bit more in last episode, so if you didn't catch that, you might want to watch it again. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoy. Hope you got something useful out of it. Thanks, guys. See ya.